What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam. I have a freshly Lysoled box of plants for you here, so let's get into it. So, um, here we are again. One of my favorite nurseries to crawl around on their clunky, terrible website is Pepper's Greenhouse. And their website is like accentsforhomeandgardens.com or something. I'll put it down below. Besides the website being a little clunky, they have amazing plants. And if you keep an eye on their plant stock, you can find some real gems for very little money. So this is one of my favorite places to go when I want to feel a little fancy, but I am just broke. <laughs> so Peppers kind of ships, you know, when they get to it. Um, they're not super slow though. Um, they just, I think they, they, try to warn you that they're a very slow shipper on the website, but I have found that they usually get your plants out within a week. So these took about two weeks to get to me from the day that I ordered them. And I got three plants. You touching me, bro? It's probably not the best spot for you. So we have three plants just in a regular old priority mailbox. They are wrapped just in paper. And much like Steve's, they have some sort of magical ability to get plants to their new owner in very good shape. So they have taped a couple of them together. And this one, this one fit pretty snug in the box. I don't know if you can see that, but there is basically no dirt in that box. That's what we like to see. Okay. Got some real cute dogs here that need to be adopted. So somebody get on that. Especially, I like this guy right here. He's like, Aah. okay. So the first one that I'm opening immediately has a mealy bug on it. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. Oh my god. Okay, a little dose of my luck. When I tell you that I have the worst luck ever with pests, I am not kidding. So this guy has mealybugs, but this is a Hoya Australis. Um, oh, okay. Well, gross. So I only see the one but we all know with mealybugs, where there's one, there's more. So this guy will be living in quarantine much like all of us. This is no shade to peppers. Um, I've never had a problem with them before and uh, mealybugs and Hoyas, they go together, but this is why it's important to quarantine your plants and always check them when you get them. Um, for me, mealybugs are, I can handle those. Um, you ship me some spider mites, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> Let's hope that these aren't all coming with extra friends. You stay right there. Feel a lot less showered than I did five minutes ago. This here is a do-over plant. Um, this is a watermelon peperomia. So I already have one of these um, and it is a sight right now. Um, and I, I do see it coming back. I do realize what happened. Um, I definitely put it in too big of a pot when I potted it up. I went too far because I didn't have the pot size that I needed and I was being impatient. Pepperomias like to be in snug little containers and I don't think that mine was very happy in that container. And I also think that it got cold over the winter because my windows um, are very old. So I bought this little backup guy because I missed having one and I wanted to start over from scratch. I believe the watermelon pepperomia was one of the first pepperomias that I ever bought. So. Um, I definitely didn't really know what I was doing at the time and I'm, go I'm gonna try. We're gonna try it again. We may put it in a terrarium situation and see if it likes that better. But um, I just, I just, I've been meaning to scoop one up and I think it was only $10. So threw it in the cart and uh, now we're gonna try again. Oh, well, hopefully this thing doesn't have mealybugs on it.
sorry, did 1936 just pull up? This plant here. Is surprise, surprise, another Peperomia. I'm very consistent. But to continue on Goth Plant Month, um, which is a thing now, because I said so, I, I just had to pick up this Peperomia. This is a Peperomia Metallica Hybrid. I almost just fell over and died because I thought there was a slug attached to it. Um, it's just a whole bunch of roots. That are, that are very overgrown. Okay. Gotta say, not my favorite order from Peppers um, <laughs> so far. Initial inspection, I don't see any mealybugs, so that is good. I definitely needs to be repotted like crazy, but check out how gorgeous these leaves are. Aren't they cool? I'm like so uneasy about this mealy bug. I just, I need to kill it real quick. Okay, so this is a little spray bottle of rubbing alcohol. This is like a 90 per 90, this is 90% um, rubbing alcohol. So I'm just gonna soak a Q-tip in that and just get that little bugger right off my plant. Thank you very much. Of course, you'll go between a crack so that I can't get you out. We got it. Give this little plant a spritz. Oh, there's another one. Okay, there's two mealy bugs. Two mealy bugs. Fun. What we'll end up doing is spraying this whole plant with alcohol, with water down a little bit, um, and we're just gonna hope that the Hoya does okay with that. I will probably have to repot it too because I don't want to take any chances. Um, and everybody else is gonna get treated the same way because. Uh, I ordered a problem to my house, <laughs> yay. I gotta say, those were some full-grown mealybugs and um, they probably should have been caught before they were mailed because there's no way they hatched and got that big on the way here. Well, um, that was a bit upsetting. <laughs> I guess that I will finish up this video with some clips of how I treat for mealybugs. I'll show you what I'm gonna do for these guys um, and then I'm gonna have to find somewhere to isolate them because there's really not a lot of plant free rooms left in my house, but uh, we'll figure it out. So not a problem. I'll stick a grow light on them and put them somewhere. I will say, don't let this discourage you from ordering from Peppers. Um, I have had good orders from them before. I've gotten some great plants from them. You can see one of my other unboxings from them on my channel. Um, but yeah, I would say if that happens again, I might not. <laughs> plants were pretty inexpensive. Um, they are beautiful plants. This Hoya is probably gonna need a little rebound time, but it looks okay. It doesn't look like it's been riddled with mealy bugs for months or anything. And um, this Peperomia looks very nice too. The variegation is pretty light on it. So I'm gonna give it lots of light and see if I can get that to bump up a little bit. I can see lots of new growth in here too. So it looks really healthy. So despite this being kind of a mess, um, it is a nice big plant and it is a beautiful plant. Um, so I'm not mad about it. So we are just gonna clean this one up as well. And then I will get that repotted and I'll just um, finish the video showing you that, I guess. And then maybe that's how we'll end on a good note. All right, so let's do it. <laughs>
what's up everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Pam and today I have another plant unboxing for you and this time I hit up Pepper's Greenhouse what's up everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Pam and today I have another plant unboxing for you I've been in the house a lot and uh, looking at plants what's up everybody welcome uh, what's up everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Pam and Pam my name is Pam that's my name today okay I'll take another hit now what's up everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Pam and I just cleaned this box with Lysol yeah 